can you see this comment? Uh, do do I believe they're contagious bacterial diseases? You want to jump on that real quick because that's come through uh, quite a, quite a few times. Yeah, sure. So we we haven't talked a lot about bacterial diseases, but also there's really no evidence that uh, bacteria cause diseases either, um, which we have we haven't talked about at length. So I'll tell you how bacteria can be involved in being sick is essentially when bacteria um, eat dead tissue they generate uh, toxic materials. And so this is really what food poisoning is about, right? Because when you have spoiled food that starts to rot and the bacteria grow on it, they can create some uh, toxins in that process. And if you are exposed to those toxins, they can make you sick, right? Just like food poisoning um, and cholera are essentially uh, illnesses like that. But bacteria do not um, invade your body and cause disease. Um, the other times that bacteria can be involved in disease would be when the uh, terrain in your body is seriously disrupted. Uh, for example, after you take um, a antibiotics, um, that what can happen is that the bacteria already in your body that are exposed to those antibiotics go through a change in order to survive. Um, and sometimes that change makes them become uh, behave in certain ways that can be destructive. And so one example that is pretty well known to people there is called uh, C. diff or pseudomembranous colitis. And uh, this is a, a nasty kind of condition that you can have after taking antibiotics where uh, essentially the inside of your colon starts sloughing off and you get bad diarrhea and it can even be uh, fatal. But interestingly, the treatment that seems to be effective for it is not more antibiotics, but something like a fecal transplant, where you're actually giving back the normal bacteria from a healthy person into your colon so it can send that uh, Clostridium difficile, which is the C. diff bacteria, back into a normal balance where it's no longer causing you harm. So essentially, that disease is caused by the antibiotics, not by uh, a bacteria. So since bacteria don't invade us and cause disease, they, they can't be contagious. But it is important to use some you know, hygienic uh, uh, procedures when you're working around uh, dead animals, especially, right? So when you're preparing meat, for example, because if the meat has started to rot, it could have some of these toxins and you don't want to get exposed to those. So you know, make sure it's important to clean up after yourself and not you know, uh, uh, roll around in dead flesh but uh, you don't have to worry about uh, being contagious for a bacterial-related uh, illness.